Hello everybody, welcome back to Ready Steady DIY. Well, if you walk into a big box store and you're in the market for a plug, they'll sell you a plug and it'll probably be something like this. This is a 15 amp, 125 volt plug from a company named Eaton. Fairly common and popular plug. But what would you say if I could tell you that you could go to a film and television supplier and buy the hospital grade equivalent of this plug, which was physically stronger, had been through more stringent testing, could handle more amperage, and was more resistant to corrosion on the inside and just generally better all around, while at the same time likely being cheaper? Well, I hope you'd say I go for the hospital grade plug. And that's what we're gonna talk about today on the channel, hospital grade plugs and how they compare to consumer grade plugs. So if that sounds interesting, stick with me till the end. But for now, let's get going. So this is the manual put out by the Ontario Electrical Safety Authority, and it provides guidelines for the industries connected to television, film, live performance, and events. Basically, it's the film and television manual pertaining to electricity and electrical items on set. This is a small 50-page pamphlet that lets film and television technicians know what's expected of them, how to be safe on set, and how to use gear safely that conducts electricity. Inside of this, there are some pretty strict guidelines. I'm showing it to you because there's something kind of interesting inside. On page 44, appendix K item 13, and I quote, cord connectors for 2000 watt luminaires shall be permitted to be 15 amp hospital grade. So if any of you guys are following along at home, you're probably hearing that and going, what? <laughs> 2,000 watts, let me do the math. West Virginia rule, wattage equals voltage times amps, carry the six. Definitely a 2,000 watt light draws more than 15 amps. How, might you ask, can a 15 amp plug be put onto a light that draws more than 15 amps? When I was younger, coming up in the film and television industry, that was a question that plagued me too. It doesn't make any sense. It says right on the plug, 15 amps. But yet every day, we draw more than 15 amps through it. So there's a bunch of reasons why the film and television industry in Canada adopted this this as a standard, as a safe standard, as a certifiable standard. This isn't something that people do in order to get around the rules to make things easier. This is something that actually would pass an inspection. And since it's been done for so long, you know that the ESA at least feels that it's safe. In order to figure out why that is, it's kind of important to understand what hospital grade as a designation means. So as you know, any plug, any electrical device requires some kind of certification depending on what country you're in. In America, it's the UL certification. In Canada, we have the same marking just with a little C next to it. That means the Canadian equivalent of the UL standard. We also have a CSA standard in Canada. You can find the TUV standard in Europe. Standards everywhere. But in the North American market where this kind of Edison plug typically gets used. Every plug has to pass the regular UL standards, but if the plug wants a hospital grade designation, there's a bunch of other standards and tests that it has to withstand. A hospital grade plug has to withstand a crush test of up to 500 pounds of crush force. I have seen these Hubble 8115 hospital grade plugs get run over by a 300 pound dolly and they survive. They don't just survive, like they survive well. I'm not recommending it. <laughs> I don't think you should practice this or try this, but I have seen it and the plug still works. They also do a mechanical drop test where they sort of pendulum the plug into a hard wooden surface. 1300 times to see if you drop it or smash it into a wall somehow, what's gonna happen? If the plug shows no deformation after 1300 impacts, well, it passes that test too. They also check the strain relief on the plug and they'll hang a weight at the base of the cable and let the strain relief do its job. If that strain relief can hold 30 pounds of straight force or 10 pounds of circling force for two hours, that's another test passed. In the end, to get the green dot, that you see here on this hospital grade plug, this plug had to go through an awful lot of testing. Every component in it looks, feels, and seems much better than its counterpart on a consumer grade plug. Let's take a look. So first off, when you compare the two, there's a really big difference right off the bat. The consumer grade plug is in multiple pieces, whereas the Hubble is sort of a hinged one piece design. It's way easier to fit the Hubble onto the end of a cable with this design when compared with the consumer model. The consumer model has a top that falls off. The strain relief falls out of the little channels really easily. It's really fiddly and hard to work with. The Hubble is super solid, super strong, and way easier to work with. While I'm talking about the housing, just give them a squeeze. The housing on the Hubble, you can just feel. It's much more rigid, much more solid, and it resists depression quite well. The Eaton, on the other hand, the consumer 
consumer model. Folds like a cheap suit. It really, really bounces and flexes as I put a minimal amount of pressure on it. It's just simply not as strong plastic as the hospital grade plug. So next up, the set screws on the side. Your hot and your neutral go into each of these, the white and the colored screw on the side. And the green screw on the bottom is designed to hold the ground wire. The consumer plug has sort of a cheap plastic retainer at the back that's designed to keep the hot, the neutral, and the ground separate. You insert them into these holes, and then you tighten these set screws down in order to hold the three wires in place. The set screws on the consumer model feel really cheap. They look like they'll strip quite easily, and the way the plug keeps the three wires separate inside of itself feels kind of cheap and chintzy. Over to the hospital grade, basically the cable mounts in a very similar fashion. There are three set screws, you insert your wires, you tighten them down, but the set screws on the hospital grade plug are really, really strong. Those things are not stripping easy. Also, the method by which the plug keeps the three cables separate inside of itself is just infinitely more sophisticated. As you tighten down on the screw, this little binder comes out and pushes the three wires away from each other, making sure that as long as you put the cable in correctly, you're not going to get a short inside your plug. Looking at the consumer grade plug, I can't say I feel as confident with it. The strain relief on the hospital grade plug is better. It can handle a thicker cable than the consumer grade plug. But when you add all this stuff up and you realize that if you go to the right supplier, you can get a Hubble 8115 hospital grade plug cheaper than if you just walk into a big box store and buy the first plug you find on the shelf. Well, I don't know why you wouldn't do it. So I'll leave some links in the description below if you want to see pricing. I know if you go on Amazon, like a hospital grade plug is 20 or $30. It's kind of crazy. You need to go where people buy them all the time. You need to come to my neighborhood. <laughs> Any film or television supply place is going to be able to sell you this kind of plug because they put them on every light they sell, every cable they sell, every dimmer they sell. There's a lot of need for this kind of plug in my business. So you go to a place that sells this kind of stuff somewhere in your neck of the woods, your neck of the world, you're going to get a better deal. I paid just under $10 for this consumer grade plug at Lowe's. Prior to the pandemic, my pricing for a Hubble 8115 when I was buying in reasonable amounts like 20 or 30 at a time was four dollars. Right now, I have a supplier in Toronto whose posted price for the Hubble 8115 is 695 Canadian. I am sure somewhere near you, there is an event company, a lighting company, a film and television rental house, somewhere with a sales department that can get you some Hubble 8115s for a reasonable price. You might have to buy more than one, but you can get them at a reasonable price. I would consider that if I were looking at buying new plugs for anything. And with that, I will say goodbye for this week. I hope that helped you out. If it did, please feel free to like or subscribe. Like I say every week, liking and subscribing, that's the only way you can support a channel. And a channel like this could really use your support. I'd really appreciate it if you could do that. It means the world to me when somebody watches something that I've made and lets me know that they like it by doing one of those two things. Otherwise, like always, take care, stay safe, have fun with your DIY projects, and I'll see you next Saturday.